Hey everyone, uh, today I'm just going to show you what a CAN signal looks like on an oscilloscope. Here I've got a Siglin SDS1104XE, which is able to decode CAN. Uh, there's a few little things you got to do in order to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our setup. Okay, uh, In a previous exercise, we learned how to program these guys in order to send, can, send and receive CAN messages. Okay. Uh, we're using these CAN transceivers, okay, so these boards uh, are able to, um, they have CAN controllers in them, or actually these chips have CAN controllers, and they need a CAN transceiver in order to uh, reach the waveform. Okay, we've, we've set everything up uh, the way we set up for the example uh, to program this. So the way it worked, just to remind you, you press the blue, bu the blue button, the green light turns on here, and then when it's received here, the green light turns on over there. All right, so let's take a look at the CAN signal. So first things first, uh, we want to connect, uh, so ground, uh, ground our probe to the ground pin on the STM32. And then we take our probe, and we're connecting that to CAN high, you can see here, sorry about that, to the CAN high pin on, so CAN H on the, um, on the transceiver. Okay, that's just for this example. So let's, uh, let's turn on oscilloscope and take a look at what the signals actually look like. All right, so a couple of things, um, just going through some of the math. Uh, the bit rate here uh, on that we've set up, our, our CAN bit rate is 125, sorry about that, kil uh, kilobits per second. Okay, so we're looking at each bit in a CAN frame is about eight microseconds. Okay, so we know, uh, I'm going to pick my uh, horizontal axis or the divisions to be about uh, I'm looking at about 50 microns microseconds okay is what I'm gonna go for all right so a couple of things we got to do on here um, okay let's let's do a few things so the first thing we've got 50 microseconds on our horizontal axis so let's go and do that first so go on here I'm gonna go to 50 Okay, so 50 microseconds is what I expect a can frame to be approximately, okay, the whole frame. All right, so next thing we want to do is we want to get the vertical axis. So I'm going to start off with, um, I'm going to say about one, just for, just to start off our range. I'm going to go to, let's say 500 millivolts instead. Okay, 500 millivolts per uh, division, or maybe let's go, let's go to two. Okay, 200, 200 millivolts per division. Okay, on this guy. Now, uh, one of the, the 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 voltage levels, okay, that can high is going to be at uh, over here. I in order to see it on the screen, I got to bring it down by three point two volts, okay, because it's going to be the DC value is going to be about three point two volts up. So what we need to do is we need to go to our vertical position, okay, and we need to drop it to about minus three point, minus three point two. Let's say. Oh, going too far. Because I want to be able to see it, right? So minus three point two. Okay, so now it's it's on my screen. Okay, see the DC level. This is the DC level of can high. So can high is going to have a DC level. Okay, and what I got to do? I got to bring it up. Okay, it's 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 at minus minus three point. Let's say three point two. Okay. Is, is where it's at, so that I can see it, okay? So that's my vertical position, all right? And my trigger, okay, so I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a single trigger, but first things first, I wanna take my, I'm, I'm using edge triggering, okay? And I have to set my level, I'm gonna go around 3.5-ish. So 3.2 to 3.5, I'm, as, as long as it goes up by, you know, 0 0.3 volts, I want it to trigger, okay, from this DC uh, value, okay? So before I go in here, I'm using DC coupling, okay? Um, I have a full bandwidth here, okay? This guy does um, one gig of sample per second, okay? And uh, let me see, my, my probe, probe is at 1x on this, on this setup. Uh, nothing here on the on the next page. Now, um, what I'm going to do, 
So I've, I've set my levels, okay? I want, again, it's at 3.2, so I'm dropping my, my value down to minus 3.2-ish. And um, 3.5 from, so my trigger is going to be 3.5 volts above. Okay, so it's going to go to zero, so near zero. Okay, so 3.5, I don't 3.58 is what I calculated. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to single shot because I want to see, I want it to stop. So single shot, it's not triggered yet because it hasn't hit my, my 0.3 volts above uh, baseline. So now I'm going to try to show everything all at once. So here's the blue button. Okay, I'm going to press the blue button and you should see the uh, the CAN signal. Okay, this is just one side of the CAN signal. I'm just measuring the, the difference between CAN high and ground. Okay, and this is what uh, what we get. Okay, so that's what the signal looks like. CAN signals are differential signals. There's going to be a differential between CAN high and CAN low. But just imagine this flipped across the horizontal. That will be your CAN low. Okay, so anyway, that's one side of the CAN signal. Now we want to decode it, and okay, that's this is just going to be a peculiarity of the of the Sigma machines. Um, I'm going to hit decode here, so I'm in the decode menu. I choose the CAN protocol. It's hard to see a little bit there, um, and you you got you got to configure here so that it's at. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. So 125 kilobits per second, which is what we're looking for. It needs to use the same baud rate uh, in order to be able to decode the signal. All right, so um, we're actually seeing the signal decoded right now. So I have to kind of give you a better, let's see if I can get better. There we go. And let me try to zoom in this. So what we send is an ID of hex 100. Uh, the data length code or the length is one. The data we send is hex 02. Okay, and there's a CRC that's included. So that is what a CAN signal looks like, okay? The CAN signals that are coming off of this board, okay? And you can see that what we actually transmit is uh, is decoded and can be decoded by an oscilloscope that uh, can, you know, can decode the CAN signal. All right, thanks. That's all for today.